Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode we're going to cover campsite cooking and show you the equipment we use when we cook inside and outside our trailer. When we first put the hitch on our trailer, we put a bicycle rack back here to carry our two bicycles. But we quickly found out that even with a cover on the bicycles, if it was raining and you're traveling down the road, dirt still flew up underneath the cover and got in the chain mechanism. So we installed this box back here and we shifted to carrying all our camping cooking equipment in here and we just put the bicycles in the back of the Jeep now. This is the tables that we use. We use a Coleman compact table. It folds up in this little bag here and it's pretty sturdy. We'll go ahead and put it out so you can see what it looks like. This is the table when it's set up, and you can also see another brand over there. They're both about the same. One's just as good as the other. And then we set them up in this L formation that you see right here. Now let's go ahead and talk about the equipment we use. Also, there will be links in the description to this equipment. First item we're going to talk about here is going to be our Weber kettle grill. You'll see it's just a standard little grill. Fits in the box, no problem. And then it also has the handle on top, which keeps the lid on when you're not using it. It's uh, been very beneficial, standard grill. Next item here is going to be our Coleman stove. It's just a standard two burner stove. And then we also have a flat griddle that we bought, put on it so we can use it as a griddle function. The other item that we have that we use with the stove is going to be the Coleman camp oven. This is very, very beneficial if you need an oven. It's easy to set up. The directions are very uh, self-explanatory for setting it up. So this is what it looks like when it's set up. Now you still can use this burner over on this side and I have cooked on it while I had the oven on here. Now just be careful though, this oven does get extremely hot and you just use the uh, control valve for the burner to maintain the oven temperature. And then you put your rack either in the bat in the middle here. And let me tell you, it cooks some amazing biscuits in here. I've done that several times. We actually really enjoy the oven and it has worked out great. Now this is what it looks like when it's in the box and it folds up into a very small format. And then for cooking utensils, we just have standard spatula. We actually have a set of tongs and we just keep those stored in the drawers in the trailer. And as far as cooking on the inside of the trailer, we use the stove that came with the trailer. Uh, you know, we added the table over here to give us some extra space. On the sink, we added these uh, bar cover instead of the solid cover. It works out great because when you're pouring something or, or like anything like that, it'll fall down through the grates instead of uh, all over the floor. And then the standard three burner stove that came with the trailer works good. We've used it numerous times. And you can see we put a little spice rack on the back to hold our spices. Now you notice the metal top that came on here is gone. And here's, uh, in a few minutes, I'll share the picture of the new top that we put on here. It gives us a little more prep space when we're actually getting ready to cook. Now here's what the new top looks like on the stove. You can see it's just a cutting board type top. And when we're actually cooking, we'll just set it over to the side out of the way. And finally here, we were going to cook outside, but it started raining on us. So uh, you're just going to have to see me cooking some spaghetti and meatballs in here inside the trailer. With that being said, we hope this helps you out, gives you some ideas for you to cook uh, when you're traveling with your casita. And with that being said, we want to tell you we really appreciate you watching and thank you for your support. And we'll see you in the campground.